Hey Hoodoo Loves, it's Miss A.V. Also, Witchy Hoodoo Cat is in the background and he's probably going to try and climb up here. But um, So we are doing today a live stream tutorial on how to do a Hoodoo speed up work. And this is going to be going on YouTube, so those of you who are new to the channel on YouTube, very nice to meet you. Everybody who has been here for a while, thank you for staying with me. And because this is a live stream, I just want to give a couple of minutes for everybody to have a chance to get on, to connect. Um, so I wanted to talk about something that's actually kind of a, a, a question that I get a lot. It's one of my very frequently asked questions and I get a lot of messages about this. Oh, gotta have my coffee there. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the things I get asked a lot is, what are some books that you recommend for someone who is just starting out in Hoodoo? What, what are books that are easy to read, accessible, and, and all of that? What, what are some, some good ideas? And Unfortunately, I do not feel like I have a very long list of books to recommend because most of what I have learned, I have either learned from reading bits and, and pieces, um, or I have, um, I have kind of gathered it from personal interaction. But I do have a couple of, um, I saw a comment about my sound, I'm going to adjust something here. Is this any better? Everybody let me know if there's still problems with the sound. I mean, this is, I'm trying out some new equipment here, so, you know. <laughs> um, but hello, everybody. So anyway, these are just three books that I would recommend that I think have contributed to my knowledge of Hoodoo um, and, and helped, and they're, they're very easy and they have a good readability if you're just getting started. So the first one here, this one is Crossroad Mama's Spiritual, 105 Spiritual Baths. Um, I really like this one because it just has very straightforward recipes um, and it, it will tell you the ingredients, tells you the ingredients, tells you what it's for, and it's very straightforward. There's not a lot of, of ambiguity or craziness. And one of the neat things that I really appreciate about this particular one, it has a specific section for those who are seeking um, baths for a romance with someone of the same gender or maybe with a transgender person or a gender queer person so that is included in this book and i find that that's left out of a lot of other more traditional um materials so that's one that i would recommend and that is by uh i'm not for sure how to pronounce people's name denise alvarado um and man madrin madrina angelique i never can pronounce people's names i, I swear i really can read um, but this one right here, this one I would also recommend. This is a absolutely amazing book for very simple spells that you can do with the Psalms from the Bible. Um, it's by Donna Rose. I got this one, I actually ordered, this is the second or third copy that I've ordered because <laughs> I keep giving them away, but this one I got off of Amazon. It's not very expensive. The format is incredibly simple. Um, it lists the psalm that they're talking about, different things that can be done with the psalm and how to do them. And there is also an index here that divides things by the type of work that you are seeking to do. So, you know, for, for attracting love, for avoiding going to court, you know, lots and lots of good, good stuff there. That one, I really strongly recommend. And then this one, I really love this one. I know that there are, some people are very critical of Catherine Yearnwood. Um, the, I, I don't have any, I'm just gonna say this, I don't have any beef one way or the other with anybody in the community. And I'm just, I, I don't, if I wasn't there for a situation, I don't, I'm just not involved. But this is a very good book, regardless of any other uh, information or controversy. Um, this has a lot of really good information. It's called Paper in My Shoe. Um, it's also available on Amazon. And it has a lot of good information about how to write petitions and what can be done with petitions. And petitions are really the foundational work for most hoodoo. So if you can only get one of these three books, I would actually recommend this one because it's a really good foundational level knowledge of what you're going to be doing. So. All that said, I'm going to set my books to the side here, and now we're going to jump into the actual tutorial that everybody came to see. Um, but, all right, the work we're going to be doing today is a Hoodoo Speed Up Power Boosting Spell. Um, I wanted to do this one for two reasons. Number one, it's really good to have in your bag of tricks something that can just 
amp up the energy on what you've already been doing, um, especially if you've already done a work and it seems to be making a lot of a lot of uh, progress, but maybe it's moving too slow. Maybe there's certain pieces that are getting left behind from your goal. So it's good to have that in your bag to begin with. But the other thing is I really wanted to try and do a work that can be done 100% with items that you would keep around the house. Um, I think the only thing in this work we're going to be using today that you probably don't have in your home right now would be a large red candle. And most of the practitioners here, we've got red candles. I've, I've got like, I've got so many candles it's kind of embarrassing. My friends tease me about it. But, but anyway, what we're going to start out with today is making a powder. And for that I've got a large black bowl and we're going to put in four ingredients here. And I'm just going to kind of talk about each one of these as I add them because these it's a very simple powder and this can be used not just for the candle, but you can add it to other things in order to boost power, energy, or speed. So it can be added to just about any spell. Um, it can be done like things like sprinkled on, into your shoes to give you a personally a boost of energy. It's a really great little powder. So we're going to make that first as we go into the rest of the spell. The first thing we are putting into this is coffee. This is just finally, I like to use espresso ground. And this is organic. I just, I feel like it's a little bit of a better energy, but you know what? You absolutely can go to Walmart and use Folgers. It's, it's not a problem. It's still going to work. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate and activate this coffee to bring speed, energy, and power to whatever work it is directed for. In Jesus' name, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray. Amen. It's a very simple charge, and for the powder, we're doing a simple charge because, again, we want to be able to take the rest of this powder and use it for whatever we need to use it for. The next thing we're going to have, another item that you almost certainly have in your kitchen right now, this is cocoa powder. Now, we all know that coffee corresponds to power and speed and energy, but cocoa powder actually has a little bit of a subtler effect. There is caffeine in here, um, and Belinda, yes, you could use instant coffee if you needed to. Um, not my personal preference because I've noticed with that it seems like the effects wear off sooner. Seems like uh, regular coffee is better, but you still can use it. Now, cocoa powder is a little bit different than coffee because it's got a warmer energy to it. And coffee really seems to create external forces that motivate someone to change. So for example, if you were doing a spell to help yourself get fit, Coffee is going to help you make friends that want to go to the gym with you. Cocoa powder works internally. Cocoa powder is going to give you the motivation to change. It's going to work on the internal feelings and sort of that motivation that comes from the inside out. That is what's going to happen with cocoa powder. So we're going to go ahead and add that here. It's the same purpose, but it's functioning in sort of the opposite, from the opposite point of origin toward the same goal. Here. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate and activate this cocoa powder to add energy, speed, and power, and internal motivation to whatever target we choose to focus it on. With the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. I know some of you, uh, you talked to me about being able to see energy, and you can probably look and see. I just love watching the ingredients light up as the prayers are said over them. That's one of the coolest things. Yep, and yes, we do have a kitty back here. <laughs> yep, he is hanging out with us today. So I always take it as a good omen when Witchy is interested. I think he's marginally interested today. All right, so we got two more things here. Again, these are probably in your spice cabinet right now. Here I have cinnamon and powdered ginger. Now, both of these are very good for speed and they're very good for energy. Um, they also have a little bit of a irritant quality, but not as much as something like a hot pepper would have. Cinnamon, kind of like coffee, tends to stimulate from the inside out. It tends to make people lust for and desire the thing um, that you are, are wanting them to desire. So it, it, it seems like they, that cinnamon kind of gets in there and it makes them want what you want them to want. Now ginger, on the other hand, much like coffee, it's like it surrounds them on the outside and fills them up with things that stimulate them towards going forward. 
Um, and so these, these are both very good. Um, I chose, th there are several formulas you will be able to find online for this type of spell that recommend using hot pepper. I deliberately left it out because in my experience adding hot pepper gets phenomenally fast results but it tends to create a lot of conflict in the process. So this is designed to get good fast results but not cause lots of fighting and turmoil. So we're going to add the ginger and the cinnamon. I feel like I'm doing a cooking show here. This is awesome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower and activate this cinnamon to create motivation and stimulation on the inside for our target to do whatever we direct them to do. With the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this ginger powder to stimulate and surround our target with the things that are needed to make them accomplish the goal that we desire them to accomplish. Be they a person, an inanimate object, whatever is necessary, we pray. With the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Alrighty. All right, here we go. I'm just going to stir this up. I've got a couple little lumps in the ginger, and I'm just stirring it and mixing it all up here in the bowl. I am stirring clockwise. As you will notice, in general, in hoodoo, clockwise is the direction that brings things toward. Counterclockwise is the direction that sends things out or away. And most of the time, you're going to be using a powder like this to bring the desired result towards you. Even if the work you did was banishing work, you're still going to be looking at drawing things in. And um, don't worry if you missed a little bit of this. I am going to be posting this, and you will be able to watch it. So it's it's gonna if if it will save for me, which last time it did not, but if it will save for me, this is gonna go on YouTube, and you will you'll be able to watch it here on the page or on YouTube if you missed some. So that is our powder, and we are actually going to save the powder itself because that's gonna be useful for a lot of other things. But now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just get ready for prepping up our candle. Now. What you're gonna do today, I think you guys can see a little bit of my writing here. What you're gonna do is you need a red candle. Red corresponds to energy, power, vitality, and that's all about what we're doing today. Uh, and carve it with a simple sentence that personifies the goal you are trying to enhance. Um, so in this particular situation, what's written on this candle is, boost and empower all magic done on behalf of, name of person, so that they may succeed in their financial endeavors. That's, that's what's written because there's been previous work done in this situation and we wanna add a little more power, make things move a little bit faster, so that's the goal. Uh, other examples of what you would write could be um, boost and enhance all work done to make John love Susie. Um, increase the speed with which, um, I don't know, increase the speed with which my boss promotes me. Increase the speed with which my lover calls me. You know, increase the frequency with which my lover calls me. Because this can be used not just to make things happen more quickly, but also to make things happen more consistently. So, you've got that. So that's what I have done on this candle, and I'm gonna go ahead and pray into the candle that petition. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I pray that this candle will be blessed and activated to enhance and boost all works so that our financial endeavors may increase and succeed. In Jesus' name, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray. Amen. All right, so your candles prayed over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. You can also use plain old cooking oil, so if you don't have fancy olive oil, that's fine. We'll get you some canola oil, get you some peanut oil, whatever you got that you use. And it is kind of important that you use something that you would actually cook with or eat with. I would not recommend using mineral oil or baby oil or something like that. Somebody asked me the other day if you can use baby oil to anoint a candle, and I I just don't know about that. I gotta be honest, I'm, I am a little skeptical. So we're just putting some olive oil on here, and we're just gonna rub that in, and you wanna rub upwards, because you're anchoring that upwards toward the sky, and downwards, because you're anchoring that down towards the earth because you want to have that energy flowing from top to bottom, bringing that which you desire towards you. And we've got that all on there. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this olive oil to activate and enhance the power of this candle that it may boost the works we are boosting. In Jesus' name I pray, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels today. Amen. 
All right. So next step that we're doing here is we've got our candle kind of nice and oily. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our powder and we're going to just put a little bit of a line here about as long as the candle is. This is just the easiest way to roll candles in my experience. And we're just going to take it like this. And I like to actually deliberately put a little pressure in there because we want it to stick. It loads it up nice. And you're going to see you've got, you know, the coffee's not going to stick maybe as well as some of the others. You are going to have patches. It's okay. You do not have to have an even coating for this. The point is to get it on there, not necessarily to get it on there evenly or make it look gorgeous. So that's what it looks like. We've got it loaded up now. And I'm going to go ahead and just brush my hands off here so that I can use them again. And I'm going to save this because we're going to be using that in a moment. Okay. So here we go with the candle. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this powder to specifically boost and enhance all works designed to bring to enhance our financial endeavors in Jesus' name, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray. Amen. All right. So we've got our plate here. Now, this candle is actually, if you look at the base of this, is nice and thick. This is one of Miss Shaw from Inexplicable Things candles. They do stand up on their own, but I am going to try and anchor it down just a little bit with a match here because if for some reason a certain four-footed furry creature... Oh my goodness can't do the matches today. If for some reason a certain creature decides that he wants to walk across the table and bump into things, which he does sometimes, then the candle is not very likely to fall down unless he is deliberately trying to knock it down. So there we go. Just a little bit of melt on the wax. And these candles are so gorgeous. I just love using them and I love the way they burn. There we go. So you've got your loaded candle anchored up here. And what I'm going to do now actually is I'm going to tip a little bit of our powder here onto this paper. And this just makes it a little bit easier. And we're going to add a little bit more around the candle itself, just like that. Doesn't have to be around my candle. There we go. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to pray over that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this powder to boost and enhance all work that has been done so that it may bless and enhance her financial endeavors and speed up the results and bring more money into her life more quickly and more abundantly. With the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Very last thing that we are doing here. We're going to use a little bit of salt, and we're going to put a protective rim around. One of the biggest problems that happens when you have a spell that's moving slow is that there are just simply completely unrelated things that are getting in the way. Maybe your lover has been thinking about calling you every day for the past week, but he's got bronchitis. You know, um, maybe his cell phone doesn't work. There, there's all kinds of little things, like it has nothing to do with the spell, but there's just a little bit of a blockage there. So adding this protection does help to kind of block out some of the things that might be getting in the way. So we're just going to put salt around the edge. And the good thing about salt is that it is neutral enough that it's not going to, to add anything you don't want here, and it is going to provide protection, but it is also perfectly capable of getting rid of any actual darkness or binding or anything like that that might be getting in the way. So it, it can handle absorbing anything negative that's coming at you too. So here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this salt to protect this work. Let it be shielded from all prying eyes. Let it be shielded from all interference. Let it be shielded from all problems, blockages, or grievances. Let it let the work flow firmly and quickly. 
Let all the results of this be protected as with a bodyguard and a fiery wall of flame. And I ask this with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty. Let me go ahead and light this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless and activate this work, sending up prayers to heaven, that all of the works, all of the works surrounding to bring money into her life be boosted and activated so that her financial endeavors may succeed and succeed greatly. In the name of the Lord, with the help of the guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, beautiful. Look at that. Now, this, this spell is a little bit cool, too, because you're not using a lot of items on the plate, so if you are a beginner at candle reading, this is a good one that you can, you can do. Um, one other thing. You can use this as just a general all-purpose spell. Um, you can write a petition for whatever it is you need and stick this on top of it and say, make it happen. And it's very good for that. Um, so if you say, I need $500, I need my boyfriend to call me, I need my cat to stop scratching the furniture, I need my boss to quit being a jerk, this work can more or less function as a temporary stand-in for just about any other kind of work. So it's a really good one to have in your, in your back pocket to use. And that's what I got for you today. Um, now, I did see a couple of different questions popping up. One person asked, can you use the powder that we made here today for uh, with spirit powder to create a stronger link? And yes, you absolutely can. Um, one thing that I have done in the past um, when I was trying to recover from a particular illness, I made this powder. I added spirit powder for myself into that. And I put that in my shoes. I also put it underneath my bed. Um, in a couple different little mojos to, to kind of help me tune in and, and, and get motivated to heal myself because I was very, very under motivated. Um, another person that I know has used this powder with spirit powder for herself um, to help with feeling just down and sluggish and depressed. And you know, obviously magic is not a substitute for taking care of yourself medically, but at the same time, it can definitely help when you're reaching those points where things are just very difficult mentally and emotionally. Um, somebody else asked here, Rita, you asked, can this be used for studying? Um, I have heard of people using similar powders to give them more energy for studying or to help them learn more quickly. So in that, in that situation, yes, I think it definitely could be used for that purpose. Um, and somebody was texting me just a minute ago saying, can this be used specifically for sex? I'm a little confused about that question, um, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it in both directions because can it be used to make someone more sexual? Yes, absolutely. All of the ingredients in this powder are very sensual. They can very easily, with a couple of prayers, be turned into something that is sexual in nature and you can point them at someone that you want to have a good time with. Um, if you're just looking to speed up sex, I suppose you could use this as a way to make sex not last as long. Um, I think you would have to write a specific petition for that. I'm, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting texts now. Apparently that's what, that's what we were looking for is a way to make sex not last so long. Um, but yes, you can do that. You would have to write a petition for that. Um, maybe make my partner speed up during sex would be the right way to write that particular petition. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and close here because that is the end of the work. And you, this one you just let burn straight down. You don't have to work it over several days. You can pause it if you need to, but you just let it burn straight down more or less. Um, Nikki, you say, can you use it with a honey jar? Yes, absolutely. You can use this working to enhance a honey jar. Uh, the powder itself, you can put in a honey jar to speed up results, or you can um, do, a, a, do a candle like this on top of the honey jar to speed up the results. I would just say if you're going to work a candle like this on top of a jar, make sure that you are alternating with the speed candles and the intention candles because you want to keep working the situation and increasing the actual results, not just increasing the speed. Um, but yeah, that is everything, guys. So go ahead and continue to drop thoughts, comments, opinions. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, everybody on YouTube, definitely do that as well. And you can come and see more of my work on facebook.com slash delish. That is where this was live streamed from. There will be more events like this. Uh, and uh, you can also reach out to me at delish at gmail.com or on my website, which is delish.com. I love you guys very, very much. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.